안녕하십니까. VSA 회장 이요구입니다 VSA 좌우 회장을 비롯한 모든 회원의 건강과 행운을 기원합니다. 2020년 VSA 영상 컴프로스도 축하드립니다. 코비드 1 9로 모두 어려움을 겪고 있습니다. 피해자 역시 정신적, 경제적, 신체적으로 많은 어려움을 겪고 있습니다. 특히 아동 여성 성착취물 영상물이 피해자가 증가하고 있습니다. 어려움을 겪고 있는 아시아 피해자라고 하여 VSE에 많은 지원과 협조 부탁드립니다. 이어지는 발표는 한국경찰청으로부터 강력 범죄 피해자의 신변보호에 대한 전자 시스템에 대하여 발표가 있겠습니다. 피해자 지원에 좋은 사례가 되었으면 합니다. 감사합니다. 굿 아프터눈. I'm Senior Inspector o y o n g s o I coordinate victim protection policies at the Victim Protection Division. in the Korean National Police Agency. Today, it is with honor to introduce to you our victim protection policy. Among them, I will be talking specifically about the employment of the smartwatch technology for victims' personal safety. All images of victim protection smartwatch in this presentation is a formal version of it. Please understand that we cannot expose current version due to security concerns. Often, in cases of domestic violence, date violence, and sex crime, victims are acquainted to their offenders prior to the offense or are known to the offenders by other means. Consequently, victims fear reprisals from offenders even after re reporting their ca case to the police. In order to bring relief, an ID victim protection policy would provide 24-hour protection. However, due to constraints in human and budgetary resources, it is virtually impossible to provide such protection to all victims. In order to surmount this limitation, the Korean National Police Agency has implemented the Victim Protection Smartwatch. The Victim Protection Smartwatch appears the same as those made for general consumers, thereby enabling users to wear the device without worrying about attracting attention. Also, it enables victims to report emergencies without being detected by the offenders. Smartwatches are provided to the victims with high risk of reprisals from their offenders in domestic violence, date violence, and sex crime. A victim may request the investigator in charge of his or her case for comprehensive victim protection, which includes the provision of a smartwatch. In 2020, the Korean National Police Agency provided protection for 11,343 victims. Among them, 5,303 victims, which is 47% of all cases that year, were issued smartwatches. About 1,800 sex crime victims were issued a smartwatch, which is the highest among the crime types. This figure is followed by 999 domestic violence victims, and 934 black male victims. By sex, 90% of all victims were female. In order for a victim to receive a victim protection smartwatch, he or she is required to submit a request form and a written consent for the provision of a personal information. The request is then referred to the Victim Protection Review Board in respective police station, whose role is to assess the risk of reprisal and the need for victim protection measures. Once the review boards resolve to prescribe protective measures, the victim's personal information is entered into the situation control system in the police station. Then, a victim protection smartwatch is issued to the victim. In 99% of cases, requests for victim protections are accommodated. In most cases, 
protective measures are completed within a day. The main function of a smartwatch are twofold. First, it allows the victim to alert the police in emergencies. Second, it identifies the real-time location of the victim. Should the victim be endangered by the offender, the victim may press the alarm button for three seconds to send an alert to the police. Then, an alert will appear in the situation control system at the police station, along with other related victim information. The system tracks the victim's real-time location and his or her movement. The case investigator is also kept in the loop using the smartphone application, which sends an alert and victim location in emergencies. The victim location is derived from the most readily available and accurate data selected among GPS, Wi-Fi, and cell tower information. Wi-Fi access data is the most frequently used data, which can be verified within, a, within about 5 seconds with a distant error margin of 20 meters. Once the police receives an alert from a victim, the duty officer in the situation control room can also call the victim on his or her smartwatch. Should the duty officer determine that the victim is unable to answer his or her phone due to offender presence, the duty officer can force a phone call connection in order to check for any audio leads on the victim's status. To any emergency from a victim, we attach highest emergency response priority, or code zero, which requires our first response elements to make presence on the scene within five minutes. In 2020, the police made 995 on-scene presence as a result of victim protection alerts. In 86 of those instances, offenders were apprehended on the scene. In May 2020, one such ins instance arose while placing a victim under protection from an ex-lover who illegally filming, raping the victim. The offender banged on the door of the victim's presence, threatening to kill the victim. The victim activated the alert function of the smartwatch, followed by a police response in five minutes and the apprehension of the offender. In June 2020, a domestic violence offender who threatened his wife to kill her while he was intoxicated with drugs was captured after a rapid police response which took three minutes. Victim protection lasts up for about two to three months and can be extended upon victim's request. In case it is determined that circumstances no longer required, require victim protection, for instance, when the offender is arrested, protective measures are terminated and the smartwatch is returned to the police. Given the increase in public interest in Korea, the demand for victim protection is rapidly growing. As a result, the Korean National Police plans to increase its inventory of smartwatches from 2300 in 2020 to 3,000 by 2021. This concludes my presentation on victim protection smartwatch. For any inquiries, please send me an email at the address shown on the screen. I will be sure to provide you with detailed reply. Thank you for listening.